Not that we want to gossip about people. No, the, never. No, we don't, because we're talking about a friend of the show. There are rumors going around that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are splitting up. The tabloids are all over it. That was fast. So it's not the greatest love story never told? J-Ho is unfortunately in her flop era, and Ben Affleck has reportedly reached a breaking point. We got this report from In Touch Weekly. A source shared that the writing is on the wall and that these two are headed for divorce, and for once, it's not Ben Affleck's fault. Now, unfortunately, this report is not the only piece of evidence we have pointing to these two possibly getting divorced. Benefer 2.0 is crashing, and no one is surprised by it. The couple has been plagued by divorce rumors for the past few months, but the rumors are confirming that the epic love story never told is down in the dumps right now. It looks like Jennifer is trying to hold Ben responsible for the downfall, but we all know who the real culprit is. This hot gossip just landed, so let's get into it. Latest Reports Y'all, the Benefer drama has taken another wild turn that has left everyone puzzled. The Daily Mail reported that although a blockbuster love didn't cost Jen a thing, but her divorce might rob her of millions. Sources with direct knowledge claim that the couple has already finalized the divorce documents, and all that's left is to turn them in. So it was Jennifer's birthday a few days ago, and you see, the Jenny from the Block star pulled out all the stops for her extravagant Bridgeton-themed birthday party in the Hamptons in New York, where she dressed up as Queen Charlotte for the day, looking effortlessly regal. However, the king was conveniently absent from the celebration. Fans speculated that this might be Jennifer's way of confirming the split. Now, Ben's absence was not the only thing that signified trouble in paradise. Jennifer even shared a tear-jerking post on social media that apparently mirrored her broken heart. She said, I really do have the best, most amazing fans in the world. I could never express how moved I am or how incredibly blessed I feel to have all of you be a part of my life. Thank you so very much. It's hard to believe we have spent all this time together. It's funny as I sit here contemplating on the most extraordinary journey. I still feel like the same girl starting out so full of energy and bravado, so ready to take on the whole world on the outside and yet so tender, fragile, and sometimes frightened, but always full of love on the inside. It turns out while Jennifer was mourning the loss of her relationship, Ben had his eyes locked on a bachelor pad. It emerged the Academy Award winner closed escrow on a new $20.5 million estate in the Oceanside Enclave, just one day after his rumored estranged wife marked her birthday. According to reports, the home has five bedrooms and six bathrooms, with breakfast and dining areas, as well as a separate family room, den, walk-in closets, media room, powder room, guest house, and more amenities typical of a multi-million dollar house. And Ben's decision to own a house so soon after he put Jennifer's love house on the market is making waves in the Hollywood community. Sources close to Jennifer claim that she was very hurt by Ben's decision. Ben's decision to move out into his own home is the final insult. J-Lo had been holding on to hope that there could be a reconciliation if they were to spend some time apart, but this is like a stab in the heart. You see, the Waiting for Tonight artist and the Batman vs. Superman actor listed their Beverly Hills home for $68 million earlier this month after purchasing the estate for $60 million last May. Still, they didn't find any immediate buyers. A source told In Touch at the time, Ben already moved out and they'll likely have to sell the dream house they spent two years searching for. They'll never stop loving each other, but she can't control him and he can't change her. There's no way it could have lasted. Before Jennifer's birthday, the former couple was seen spending their second anniversary on completely different coasts. While Jennifer was seen taking a cycling trip, Ben was holed up in his office. However, they were seen wearing their wedding rings, and that gave some hope to Benefer 2.0 fans. Not to mention Affleck's daughter Violet was seen bonding with Lopez in Southampton, adding a family element to the couple's public appearances. The stepmother and stepdaughter were spotted together at the East Hampton Antiques and Design Show in New York, where they were seen browsing through various offerings along with a third friend who accompanied them. Sources claimed they're doing their own thing right now and living separate lives. Jennifer suggested they just take time to figure it out. Jen and Ben are navigating their separation carefully and focused on co-parenting. Another insider insisted they still haven't made a decision regarding an official split, and the fact that they haven't filed for divorce yet means there's a sliver of hope that they could work things out between them. 
Before this, Whisper suggested that Jennifer was trying hard to win Ben over. However, she decided to stop trying as Ben didn't seem to be interested in patching things up. Now you might all be confused by Jennifer's Father's Day post which suggested things were okay between them. Well, a mole revealed that it was an attempt to control her image as the split with Ben was humiliating for her. It's all about image right now, especially on her side. So posting that was calculated and not some sign that they are working things out. She's very clear she's given up hoping for a miracle. She said it didn't work out, but not going to miss his bad habits like his chain smoking and his junk food binges. He's also a slob, which irritates her because she likes everything super neat and tidy. She's relieved to escape his mess. She likes to look on the bright side and is generally in a good mood, but Ben was bringing her down. Everyone in her life thinks she's lucky to be free of him. In addition to divorce rumors, J.Lo is reeling from the humiliating career setbacks as her This Is Me Now album flopped. Her related documentary about her now crumbling love affair with Ben was also trashed by viewers and critics, and ticket sales for her tour were so bad, she finally canceled it. For those who don't know, in February, Lopez was busy promoting her visual album This Is Me Now, a love story, an accompaniment to her new album This Is Me Now. At the premiere, she spoke about how Affleck encouraged her throughout the process, believing in her as she funded the project herself. I know what they say about me. About hopeless romantics. That we're weak. And I'm not weak. I was like, I don't write. I don't do this. He was like, you do. You write. You direct. You produce. You choreograph. You do all the things. Start stepping into that. Start owning a little bit of who you are. In the accompanying documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, which focused on Affleck's support for Lopez, the Batman actor explained how he didn't want his relationship playing out in the public eye. Getting back together, I said, listen, one of the things I don't want is a relationship on social media. Then I sort of realized it's not a fair thing to ask. It's sort of like, you're going to marry a boat captain and you go, well, I don't like the water. Affleck added that the backbone of their relationship was compromise. While he may sometimes be uncomfortable being Lopez's muse, she said in the documentary that he has still been supportive. I don't think Ben is very comfortable with me doing all of this, but he loves me. He knows I'm an artist, and he's going to support me in every way he can because he knows you can't stop me from making the music I made. He doesn't want to stop me, but that doesn't mean he's comfortable being the muse. I don't know about you, but it really looks like Jennifer was the one wearing the pants in the relationship this whole time. Fans believe that since Ben has already expressed his dissatisfaction with being in the limelight, J.Lo should have opted for a compromise, as now this seems to be the real reason behind her impending divorce. Not only that, Jennifer's revealing dresses were also part of why they couldn't see eye to eye. He'll joke with me sometimes. He'll say things like, where's the rest of that shirt? I'm like, oh, this one doesn't have anything else. Well, even though sources claim that Jennifer has given up on her marriage, it seems like she is still hesitating on the matter. One of her close friends claimed that Jennifer has been waiting for Ben to come back to his senses. If it is only a question of putting the work in, then you had better believe that Jen will turn it around. She has thrown her heart and soul into her love story with Ben and will not give it up without a fight. From what I hear, there's still a lot of love there, so there must be hope. We know how Jennifer relishes the media attention, right? So it might be safe to say that Lopez and Affleck's different outlooks on their relationship caused conflict in their union. They just have very different approaches when it comes to media attention. Ben hates all the attention, and it makes him very uncomfortable. Jennifer has always had a different approach. Another source in the film industry added that while Affleck has always been impressed by Lopez's work ethic, but he struggled with the public aspect of her life. Even though he admires that about her, it doesn't make him happy and causes stress in his life and then in hers. There is no question their different styles clash. Lopez needs that expression, but Affleck simply is not comfortable with it. After a while, it causes tension in the relationship. He is more introspective and private. She likes to open her heart to her fans and to the world. This makes them considerably different, and it has been difficult in the day-to-day -day relationship. Now, as you can imagine, those projects were funded by J.Lo, so they both suffered quite a bit as it flopped. The word has it that Ben was against the idea, but J.Lo pushed through and had it her way, which permanently damaged their relationship. And at this point, it won't be surprising if it turned out that Ben was the one to pull the trigger on their marriage. No one would want to stay with a person who only thinks about themselves. They lost 18 million pounds, and it ruined Ben's trust in her, a source told the Daily Mail. Ben seeing her spread their love letters on a table for others to read, as she did on screen, infuriated him. 
This is when he knew that she put fame above love. However, as time goes on, more and more reasons for the Benefer failure keep piling up. Friends close to the actor have claimed that the singer's move to launch her own alcohol line was the final blow, considering Ben's struggles with sobriety, with the couple alleged to be heading for divorce. For those who don't know, in April 2023, Lopez launched her alcohol venture, Delola, joining a league of other Hollywood celebrities who own similar ventures. At the time, Lopez's move was seen as simply expanding her portfolio as the multi-hyphenate she is. However, it was unlikely anyone anticipated it would backfire on her marriage to Affleck. Sources close to the actor now deem it one of the things that broke the camel's back. It was revealed that when the brand first launched, Affleck was devastated. He had previously spent years struggling with alcohol dependence and experiencing multiple setbacks. As his wife Lopez was seemingly expected to recognize that her involvement in such a business for financial gain could potentially trigger another relapse, but she appeared indifferent to the risk. Ben had to fight to get his life back after overcoming alcohol, knowing how he lost everything, including the love of his family, knowing that he could possibly relapse. Jen decided to start her own spritzer line for more money, as if she didn't have enough. It's believed that J.Lo and Ben will be filing for divorce by the end of this summer. They are waiting for the right time to drop them. At that time, they will release a joint statement that will say how they have much love for each other and how they fought to make it work, but couldn't. Honestly, in the end, they could not come to a compromise. What they had before is gone, and they have both accepted it. The Other Jennifer Listen, as rumors continue to swirl over Ben Affleck's marriage to Jennifer Lopez, the actor's ex-wife is taking on more and more responsibility as his marital strife grows. Jennifer Garner was married to Affleck between 2005 and 2018, and the former Alias star is the mother of their three biological children, including recent high school graduate Violet. Recently resurfaced comments Garner made about Affleck have sparked a wave of speculation. Whether the pair could do the unthinkable, once Affleck's rumored split from Lopez is finalized, because apparently Garner still has feelings for him. I ran down the beach to him, and I would again, Garner said of their 2005 marriage. You can't have these three babies and so much of what we had. He is the love of my life. What am I going to do about that? Not only that, sources suggest that Garner is not to be vilified in this scenario, as she has recently supported Jennifer's relationship with a loving message online. Garner sent the world a one-word message with a statement t-shirt as she continues to be drawn into the headlines surrounding Affleck's troubled marriage to Jennifer Lopez. Superwoman read the t-shirt that Garner was spotted wearing as she walked outside in Los Angeles, and believe it or not, fans interpreted it a lot differently than anyone could have imagined. However, it is entirely possible that Jennifer Garner might have seen cracks in Ben's demeanor, and she fled to his side to rekindle their lost relationship. The mother of the Batman star's children has been spending more time with her ex-man after his marriage to Lopez appears to be crashing and burning just two years after they tied the knot. But it seems as though it's finally impacting her own relationship too. An insider claimed, if there was a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, he would. He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream and he's come to his senses now and understands there's just no way this is going to work. While Garner has started to be a rock for Ben, it looks like her current partner is unhappy with the arrangement. You see, despite the time she's spending possibly trying to help Affleck fix his marriage with Lopez, Garner has moved on in her own romantic life. She is dating a businessman named John Miller, according to Daily Mail, which reported that Miller has advised Garner that it's not her responsibility to help fix Affleck's marriage to Lopez, a source reported. He cares deeply for Ben and sympathizes with what he is going through with Jennifer, but that doesn't mean Jen should be the one to fix her ex-husband's issues with his current wife. That makes no sense to anyone. Jen is such a caring and wonderful woman and mother, and there is nothing but a deep friendship and bond between her and Ben. John wants nothing more than for Ben to be okay, but it isn't his girlfriend's responsibility to play babysitter to him. That is for Ben to figure out on his own and for his wife to handle. It isn't Jen's responsibility, and he has told her this. You see, Benifer has been reigning in the tabloid since 2002 when Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez first met on the set of the bizarre romantic comedy film Gili, which starred Affleck as a mobster who falls in love with Lopez's character. At the time, Lopez was married to backup dancer Chris Judd, but she filed for divorce in 2002. That summer, the tabloids 
frenzied coverage of Affleck and Lopez's relationship began, with various paparazzi photos showing them kissing. Then, in November, Lopez dropped a music video for Jenny from the Block, which depicted her and Affleck being dogged by the paparazzi. In 2003, Benifer was arguably the most famous couple in the world, but the spotlight on Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck may have played a large part in their relationship's demise. We didn't try to have a public relationship, we just happened to be together at the birth of the tabloids, and it was like, oh my god, it was just a lot of pressure. But sometimes I feel like what you think people are and how you see them when you love them is different than what they reveal later. And guess what? Benifer was all set to be married back in September of 2003. However, Lopez and Affleck postponed their wedding just days ahead of time. Due to the excessive media attention surrounding our wedding, we have decided to postpone the date. When we found ourselves seriously contemplating hiring three separate decoy brides at three different locations, we realized that something was awry. Well, fans believe that it really doesn't really matter as it turns out things were bound to blow up in flames. And the irony is that she destroyed her actual greatest love story by insisting on making this movie against everyone's better judgment. Ben seems like he's done. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos just like this.